So in 12 we have a range of new falloffs that work in combination with mesh operations. Um, so this scene I've just got a series of subdivided planes. So the first um, type is weight. So this plane has a weight map applied to it. So if I add some kind of mesh operation, for example a polygon bevel, and we add the falloff via the tool pipe. I'm going to add a weight map fall off and then select the weight map. So you can see we can now drive um, a mesh operation via a weight map that's applied to the object, which is really useful. And of course, now we've got the gradient editor on these fall offs as well, so we can play around the shape with the shape as well. So the next type is what's called slope. So again, I'll add polygon bevel do the same thing there and go to the tool pipe and this time add a slope fall off and what this does if I run the move tool is it creates a kind of a, a locator here and it works off um, an angle um, an, an angle generated from the axis of this of this locator. So at the moment it's 90 degrees. So as I move this locator over the top of this up this plane, you can see how it's being beveled. Everything within that that uh, that angle is being beveled. If I reduce the angle, I reduce the amount of offset on the bevel. And of course, again, I can use the gradient editor to modulate that effect. And then there's also an area fall off. So on this plane I've got, this plane is made up of polygons of different sizes. So again if I run a polygon bevel extrude, um, extrude them out there. Um, this time I'm going to add an area fall off. And you see this time it's beveling it, it's beveling it based on the polygon area. As I increase that value, so the difference in the, in the uh, size of the polygons changes. So all of those fall offs were derived from a more generic fall off that we call a fall off operator. And a fall off operator is a fall off that can be rigged. So in this very simple example, we've got a cylinder here. I'll just add a uh, polygon bevel again. And I'll just turn off group polygons. Okay, and now we go to the tool pipe. And this time I'm gonna add a fall off operator and I'll add that to the schematic. Now if I go to channels, in here it lists all of the um, information that it can derive from the object it's attached to, that it can use to um, uh, modulate how it works essentially. So we've got the position of the object, the normal direction of the polygons of the object, point index, polygon index, area, flatness, weight, etc. So what I'll do here in this really simple example, just take the normal x, I'll add that in, and then we can rig it up. So let's bring in a channel relationship. We'll take normal x and feed that into the weight of the fall off, which is how much it's going to be affected. And then we'll just define the relationship, so for the normal to 1 and the weight to 100. And as soon as I key it, you can see now it's only beveling based on the normal x direction of the object. So having the ability to rig fall offs um, it's incredibly useful. And a really you know, obvious example is here with an arm. So I've got this, this rigged up where the, the arm will, def will deform, but there's no you know, kind of bicep bulge going on. Um, but if I select that, I've got a weight map in here called bicep. Um, and that is just a little weight map that sits on there. Um, so what I can do on this mesh here is add a push influence 
and under fall offs I'll just add a weight map fall off and let's choose bicep and then what we can do is rig this up so I've got my uh, rotation X channel there take the push influence and we'll add that in and then we'll just set a relationship between them so as that rotates up the bicep pushes out and that will key it and now we've got a bicep rigged up 